This is a demonstration of one of the new capabilities for product templates in the June 2023 release of NX. I want to show some new capabilities for parameter tables in NX, but in the context of a product template. Um, to be clear here, parameter tables can certainly be used without creating a product template, but they can be used together in some pretty uniquely powerful ways. <laughs> so inside this uh, coffee machine assembly that we have here, um, I want to go look at some brackets in here that are created with product template. I'm going to hide the case here and come back and look. So we've got a little pipe here that's that's running around inside, and, and you see a series of brackets that are on here, right? If we grab one of these and, and search in our, our tree, we can see that we've got yeah half a dozen of these uh, around the inside of the, uh, the assembly. And they're all using the same one. These are all copies of the exact same part uh, out there. So if we change one of these, it's going to change all of these, right? That's the way this is this is built. So I'm going to pack these together just for, for brevity. And uh, let's go take a look at what we've got, okay? So there's a little label on this one here that you see this D26 uh, label. Uh, this is designed for a 26 uh, millimeter pipe. That's this one here. So that's the curvature of this piece of it. Uh, this 12 is a 12 millimeters tall here and one millimeter thick uh, material on this bracket. And then it's got uh, an M4 hole uh, on either side here. One M4 bolt on either side is the, the labels for this particular one, right? So this is this bracket. And, uh, and as I mentioned, this is a product template out there. So we can use our edit reusable component. To, to go and take a look at this. And we'll see here that we've got in this particular one, a bunch of standard sizes, right? Now this, as you might expect, is driven by a parameter table, right? We've got a number of parameters here that we talked about, that, that diameter and the height and, and the thickness of the material and the bolt size and all that kind of stuff that are, uh, that are all coordinated here to, to create some different standard options here. So there's a, a 12 tall and a 16 tall and a 20 and a 24 and a 36 at the moment, right? And if we go pick one of these bigger ones here, we'll see that we've got, for instance, here one that's that's twice as tall in this direction, a little strapping bigger guy. Um, there's a 24 here now that starts to have two holes on either side, and, and similarly a 36 that's that's kind of obnoxiously big that, that has uh, this kind of a look to it here with, uh, again, two holes on either side, right? So some different, some different uh, options there uh, on these guys. Now, uh, we're going to take a look, let's go take a look at this uh, table for just a minute, the parameter table that's inside this part, and uh, and see what we have there. I'm going to make this uh, open in window, and uh, so we're inside this, this specific uh, template here at the moment. And let's go look at the parameter table that's in this part, right? As we do that, you see we've got the standard brackets table, um, those standard configurations that we were just look, looking at are listed there. One of these is selected at the moment, the 12. Um, we can leave that selected. We can deactivate that selection for, for now. Let's go look at the standard brackets here. And as we edit this table, we can see those configurations in here, right? Now, one thing that you'll notice uh, if you're uh, familiar with these, <laughs> a new thing in this release is that we've got a bunch of different data types in the table here now. Uh, prior to this release, uh, parameter tables started out with just number expressions uh, in this table. Um, when we created parameter tables back in, I think, the 1899 release, uh, if I remember right, there was a specific need from one of the NX applications for this parameter table concept, and they really needed numbers <laughs> specifically. And uh, and so we we hurried and we, we put in um, uh, the initial parameter table capability with numbers, and that worked wonderfully and, and satisfied their needs specifically. But uh, but we liked the concept and we wanted to expand that some more. So after a couple of years of having it in NX, we've got a lot of feedback from you on some usability things, as well as the data type stuff. Uh, we did some cool things in this release. So here's here's a, a little bit of the turn of the crank. Um, obviously, you're seeing some string expressions in here. That was a big request, <laughs> was to be able to include strings, some labels uh, as part of these. You see a Boolean expression in here as well. Uh, we actually can include point and vector expressions here too. Um, if you look, uh, there's there's a video in another section about feature templates. And in the feature template example, I've got a point and a vector uh, in the table here also. 
Uh, so uh, again, some new coverage for uh, the other kinds of data types uh, that are available to put into uh, a parameter table, which is exciting. So a lot more capability there. Another couple of things that uh, were highly requested <laughs> at the moment, or sorry, sorry, not at the moment, but in previous versions of NX, um, this table really would kind of build together in the order that, that it was put in here, in the order in which it was built. And so as you added parameters, they would, they would be added to the bottom of the list here on the, on the, the, the left. And, uh, and you added configurations, they would get added on the right uh, out here. And there were times where you wanted to reorder those, right? Reorder the configurations or reorder the parameters. And, uh, and we can do that now. So if we want to, we can say, for instance, take that bracket length and grab that and start to drag that up. And, and we can reorder this table now, reorder the parameters in the table, that tube diameter a little lower. We'll maybe put the, the length, width, and depth all there together just for fun. Um, so yeah, if we want to reorder those, we can, right? Very easily. Again, we'll just long click on one of these guys and, and drag it, okay? Uh, similar up, up here on the columns, uh, we've added the control, the configure columns control here that's very similar out through NX. This is in lots and lots of tables where we can take these and, and move these around uh, inside our table. These are in a good order right now. We're going to add a new one in just a minute and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, insert that one when we do. But, um, but conceptually, I think you see what's going on here, okay? Uh, again, configurations across the top, parameters down the left. Uh, we can reorder both of those and, and so forth. Uh, one, more, one more little thing here. In uh, previous versions, you could you can come out to this dialog if you wanted to delete uh, one of these configurations. Uh, we've added the ability inside here also if you want to to come and delete a configuration. And that'll remove that column, of course, collapse that column. So... Uh, so good. So with all of this in place, um, of course, we've got our parameter table in there. And if we look at our product template here, again, we're in the context of this, this product template here. Uh, if we look at the product template author, we'll see our dialog that we were just looking at. This has our, all of our standard sizes. And um, we have that parameter table in our dialog, of course. And that shows up, of course, in our, our list of all of the objects in the part. We can take that one and add that. It's already in, so it's asking me to remove it here. <laughs> we can add that, drag and drop it up here, or, or right-click and say Add. And, uh, and that, of course, gives us this, this option menu, right, of, the, uh, of the, uh, the, the available types. Now, one thing I've got turned on here uh, right now for this one is this guy. So this is a new option in here. We had uh, one of our application engineers in Canada that came to me last year with a really clever, clever um, customization he had done to, to really enable this kind of concept. And, uh, and so we, we took that and, and uh, that idea and put it into the core software pretty quickly because it was really clever. But as you can see here, this is the, the, an ability to add a new configuration kind of on the fly from the context of the template, right? And, and what this is going to look like is, is this. Um, it really adds this next line right here. This is where we can put in a new name and use this button here to add a configuration to our parameter table. And uh, if we turn that off, uh, we can lock down the template so it's only the standard configurations. That's totally fine. Actually, this none down here at the bottom as well. If we don't want to see that, we can come to the configurations in here and say, I want to hide the none, for instance, right? And, um, and it, we, I think we're, it's, it's our active one right now. It's none, so it doesn't want to hide it at the moment. Um, so it's warning us about that. But that would, uh, that would hide that none from us. We're, we want to use it here in our context because uh, when we're in that none mode, we want to be able to see uh, all these custom parameters, right? Uh, I've added these in this particular dialog because I want to be able to configure a new one on the fly. Right? And as we do that, of course, we want to be able to add that new one here using this enable add configuration. Okay, this is new in this release. And we'll, we'll do this here in just a second uh, out there live and, and create a new version of this that's going to, going to uh, be added to our, our family, okay, to our, our uh, parameter table. So with all of that there, uh, let me drop out. I don't think I changed anything in here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the template studio and we'll discard the changes. That's fine. And, uh, and let's go play with this a little bit. Okay. We've got our, our template out there. And uh, if we come back to our, our assembly, 
as we go and interact with this guy now, um, we, again, we're in that none configuration at the moment, right? And uh, if we're in one of the standard ones, we're going to the standard ones, these are going to be all insensitive, right? We'll lock all of those expressions if we're, if we're driving those expressions from the table. But if we're in that none configuration, then these are available now to, to be manipulated parametrically, and we can start to, to look at a new, uh, a new kind of configuration. So I mentioned that we've got we've got uh, 20 and 24 and 36. We don't have a 30 in there. So just for fun, uh, let's create a 30, right? So right now we're at a 12. Uh, we can come in here and, and add a new size that's a 30. That'll go kind of like that. And uh, and that's not okay. Um, I kind of like having the, the, the two string or the two screw configuration. So I'm going to include the second holes in here. That'll go to that kind of a shape. And uh, so this is a 30 now with the second holes on it, which is which is pretty much what I want, okay? Now, I want the label on here to also show that, so I'm gonna update my string. Again, this is a string input, and the ability to have this string input to drive uh, the, the parameters uh, and be stored in the feature template, sorry, the parameter table <laughs> specifically, is, uh, is a new thing here, right? So as we apply that, uh, you see there that we've got our new 30. Right, so this is a pretty good configuration, new configuration, and again, I want to save this back to our um, uh, to our table here. Right, so these have got kind of those parameters uh, listed in the names. So I'm going to go here and do the same. Right, so this is going to be a D30 times. Uh, it's not D30 actually. My bad. D26 because we're still 26 diameter. And there, da -da, D26 by 30. There we go, by one. And we've got the M4 uh, by one there on the end. And actually, I believe this has, we've got MM in there for a millimeter as well, right? Um, we could, of course, go back and fix this later in the table if we wanted to. I think that's all the same kind of formatting. Yep, that looks good. Uh, so as we do that, then we can add this configuration, right? When we add this, this button will go gray because we've already got that one in there. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, so it's added it. And now that 30 configuration shows up in our option menu here, right? And that's now one of our, our choices that's available now to be a, a standard configuration, right? We can grab the 16 or the 20 or the 30 here, and that will do that. Okay, we can reorder that, of course, in our table uh, as well, and that will uh, will help us see that. So, so that's pretty exciting, right? Again, we can create a new configuration of this template, use the UI here, uh, really to do this kind of configure to order almost, right? Where we're we're going and adding a new a whole new configuration, uh, saving that to the table, so that's available for reuse next time. Right, and again, we can come into uh, that part. Let's make that open in window there. Uh, this is now in that 30 configuration, of course. And uh, if we look at our parameter table here, we see that that 30 is down kind of at the bottom. We could come in and, and say, uh, we wanna take that 30 here in this case and uh, configure the columns and say, move that 30 up so that it's in the, the 24, 30, 36 uh, sequence there. And uh, we can save that kind of in our new in our new state. Okay, so that's kind of exciting. Um, again, uh, added the ability here to um, have those multiple data types uh, in the parameter table to be able to reorder there, drag the parameters to configure the columns and so forth, and uh, and then uh, the big one, right? The ability to add that new configuration when we're in the context of the uh, the, the 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 product template. Okay, which is super exciting. So I uh, hope you enjoy that and uh, can find good applications for this in your, your world. And I uh, hope that's useful to you.